On this episode of The Guilty Crafter, I'm going to show you how you can take an old dress and turn it into an apron. I'm Angela Daniels, and I'm driven by guilt. I feel guilty when I'm not crafting. I feel guilty when I am crafting. I feel guilty when I buy stuff for crafting, and I feel guilty when I don't use what I buy. That's why I'm The Guilty Crafter. So I have a couple dresses in my closet that are so cute. I love the patterns and prints, but they don't really fit me very well. They just, they're just not really for me, but I can't give them up. So I decided that one way to keep them and still wear them is to turn them into aprons. So if you have a favorite dress hanging in your closet, or even if you're at the thrift store and you see something really cute, but it's too big or too small, grab it because you can easily turn it into an apron with little to no sewing. I have a dress right here that I absolutely love. It looks horrible on me, but I've never been able to part with it. The top is the problem here. That's what doesn't look that great on me. So I'm simply gonna cut off the top right here. There's already seam in here, so if I wanna do no sewing, it's not really gonna fray, so that's gonna be easy. And then at the bottom here, I have a full skirt. All I have to do is cut up the side seams, and this is going to give me, I can actually make two aprons out of this, but I'll have an apron in the front, I can use the built-in sash on the dress to be my apron strings, and then I'll have all of this on the back if I want to make my daughter a matching apron, and all the top and bodice of the dress if I want to make pockets or extra embellishments for a future project. All right, it came out way cuter than I thought. I have no idea why I've been putting this off for so long. This dress has been in my closet for a year. This is a super fast, low sew project. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Angela Daniels and I'm the Guilty Crafter. If you have comments or suggestions about this episode, leave them in the comment box or you can tweet me at Guilty Crafter and don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video.